Hello, my name is Madeline, and I talk about random things every Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about the top books that I read in 2021. These are in no particular order. I loved each and every single one of them. We're going to be starting with the Shadow and Bone series by Lee Bardugo. I did read these because I had watched the Netflix show. So sue me. I am a new fan, recently converted, and I love the Shadow and Bone series. It gives me such nostalgic YA dystopian energy, and I love it. Shadow and Bone is a supernatural YA series. It's part of the Grishaverse. Phenomenal. And on TikTok, it feels like most people like really prefer Six of Crows. So I kind of went into this being like, you know, we'll see what happens. Like, I'm just here for a good time. And a good time I had. I really liked it. I think it rivals Six of Crows for sure. I love all of the characters and it's just a really interesting series. I think it's really good. I highly recommend reading it. P.S. People don't like Mal. I love Mal. I think he's great. And that's realistic. A lot of boys don't appreciate girls in their life until later. So I think that really was realistic. And I know a lot of people hate him for that, but like that happens. Second up is the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. Also takes place in the Grishaverse. <sighs> if I thought Six of Crows was good, which I read last year, I cannot even get over how good Crooked Kingdom was. Like there are so many amazing quotes in here. And like, like the whole time you're just like, what? Six of Crows is a YA heist that takes place in the same universe as Shadow and Bone, but with slightly different characters in this place called Ketterdam. And wow, I can't even, uh, this book's very hyped up on Book Talk, so chances are you already know what it's about, but highly recommend reading this one. It's amazing. Next up is the Kingdom of the Wicked series. We have Kingdom of the Wicked, Kingdom of the Cursed. Hopefully the next one's coming next year. I really hope. This is a YA new adult supernatural mystery. It's phenomenal. I do have a video up just about it. So if you'd like to go check that out, please do. It's one of my top reads. It was so compelling, so interesting. You're just, your brain's just going a million miles a minute trying to figure out what is going on. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with Tweet Cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Tweet Cute. It's like a contemporary YA retelling of You've Got Mail, only it takes place on like social media and it, like the memes are hilarious in here. You can totally tell that Emma Lord used to work for BuzzFeed in a good way. And like the grilled cheese is cute. Like the whole thing is just perfection. Like this is perfection in a book. I'm obsessed. I sent this one to a bunch of my friends for Christmas. I freaking love that book. Next up is Jenny Han's The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy. I have a video coming up about this one in two weeks. Actually one week. <laughs> I have a video coming out about this series in one week. I love it. It's going to be a TV show soon. Um, it's just really, really good writing, amazing setting, beautiful friendships. Um, you just have to read it. It's really good. And check out the video I do on it if you want more information. And finally, my last favorite book of this year was Cassandra Clare. You know there has to be a Cassandra Clare in here. Chain of Iron did not disappoint, just as good if not better as Chain of Gold. If the third book in the series, Chain of Thorns, is as good as these two, we're in for some trouble because these books are amazing. I loved following James and Daisy. I love, love, love Lucy. I love Lucy. She's so cool. She's so cool. Me and her are kindred spirits. This book was phenomenal. I can't wait for the third book and... Oh, Matthew in that book? Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. I hope I gave a good little rundown of all these books. They were amazing. This was such a good reading year. What were some of your top reads this year? Let me know in the comments below. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next Tuesday.